Morning YouTubers, we have 60 days, 20 hours till Iron Man. The beginning of a new week, new chapter, 40 days down. Amazing, really like unbelievable the amount of days that have passed and how quick it's become. A reality really. So I said today it was all about reflection. Obviously I've got a funeral later. And this morning I've just been really meditating and catching up on some thoughts about what I want out of life. And I was speaking to a friend a moment ago about how spending masses of time on your own really puts many aspects of your own life into perspective and obviously the passing of my friend over the last you know two weeks ago now just over two weeks really hits home that you know we can only control so much in our own life and then there are so many outside influences, external factors that are beyond our control. You know, it was a flight that went down and killed all of the crew and passengers. It was yesterday, flying from Dubai into Russia. And, you know, the people on that flight had no idea that what was about to happen. You know, they had no idea that when they said goodbye to their loved ones for the for, for the last time, that that would actually be it. That would be it indefinitely. In this world, anyway. And depending on what you believe. So I think it's important that we do... I put a post on Instagram this morning. I think it's important we follow through with our dreams, with what we want to achieve. dream big, deliver, remove those restrictions about what what we want, you know, and put it out there, I mean I've sent off loads and loads of emails over the last probably four months to companies about or describing what I'm looking to do, whether they'd help me out, whether they'd, you know, loan me some kit. response has been relatively negative to be fair not disheartening but negative in in the response two of the companies I thought wouldn't be interested some of the larger companies I guess that have a better understanding of the viral ability of these kinds of videos did or have uh, been interested. The point I'm getting at is you need to put yourself out there, you know, you need to remove those restrictions and the fears of rejection in everything, not in just, you know, sport or a message, but ultimately in everything we do, you know, whether it's a, a career choice, a relationship choice, we all have the ability to do it. If you're in a relationship, there must have been a point where you asked that person out, or they asked you out, and you went on that first date, and you overcome all of those emotional concerns, those uh, issues around your beliefs, those confidence niggles that we all have. Now, there must have been a point that you decided that you know there was an element of internal value. What I'm getting at is if you have been putting something off for a long time through the fear of failure, through the lack of understanding or knowledge, then right now, today, is the, is the day to act is the day to make the choice to do something about it. 
because there may not be a tomorrow or there may be a tomorrow but the ability to achieve or the ability to do actually is in physically impossible and I, I wouldn't wish that upon anybody no matter the crime but it, there is so many varying factors that we have little or no control over what we do have control over is the option of choice the choice to do or to do not I'm not saying either that everybody should go out and sign up to a triathlon or Ironman or marathon or something physical it could be an emotional or spiritual journey that you need to do and we need variants as well you know in the eastern worlds they talk a lot about yin and yang positive negatives the ups and downs you know there, there are so many different theories out there and then you need to keep that stable you need to keep that element of both the positive and negative and it, life needs variety you know they say the spice variety is the spice of life I kind of agree in my coaching practice I meet so many people like literally so many people that are saying they're unhappy with their life they've been doing the same thing for years they're stuck in a rut all of these keywords that they're using They've lost their identity, they've lost their ability to think for themselves and go out and achieve something that they want. That they want to do. We all have the ability to be more. We all have the ability to live a happy and fulfilling life. Despite physical restrictions, there's a guy I'm following. I forget his name, and it's really bad. Um, he's the he's the pro blind triathlete who does the Ironmans. I mean, he's from a story. Again, I'm going off memory here. He was blinded at the age of six. he loved to ride his bike there's a video on YouTube I'll try and find it but he's on my Instagram we want an inspirational story what most people don't know is a couple of years ago I blinded my right eye by doing handstand push-ups at CrossFit literally blinded my eye the back of my eye exploded I was unable to see everything was a blur and that's having had laser or corrective laser surgery prior to that and having better than 20-20 vision to then lose the sight in my eye still not right now fully my focal vision my central vision is not what it used to but at the time, the doctor, the, the specialist and the surgeon said to me, no more fitness. When I asked him for how long, he said, no, no more fitness. Any pressure to the eye could cause it to relapse. Well, touch wood. I eat healthily. I exercise. And... I'm happy doing that. There's no way that I could not exercise, you know. And it's one of those things you gotta live with and just deal with. To not exercise or to be told not to be doing something being your dream, your aspirations just isn't going to cut the mustard with me or with people like me 
it doesn't take a lot, a lot to make that shift in your mindset, you know. And actually, just thinking about the, my eye situation for a while, they when I had it done, um, when it happened, the response from people was completely unexpected. A lot of people were were very negative about the whole eye situation. For me, I just took it as a a universal guide of, you know, what is the universe telling me? Well, one, handstand push-ups might not be good for you. Uh, and it was a rarity as well. The doctor, the surgeon, had never seen it in his 30 years. It's called retinal vein oculation. Basically, most people have two to four veins going into the back of the eye. And it generally happens, uh, what, what happened to me in 80-year-old women that strain going to the toilet. And it wasn't particularly pressure um, of doing the handstand. It wasn't many other factors. It was literally, it was an anomaly that happened at the time that shouldn't have happened to someone of my age and fitness level. I mean, I was pretty fit at the time. Uh, so yeah, you know, it's... Sometimes we've got to take these, these uh, universal highlights the aspects of our life that really identify and show us what's not going right or, or what is going wrong. We've got to act upon it. Today is the day to take action. Today is the day to reflect, think about what would happen if the choice was taken away from you. You know, as I said, my friend, my neighbour, she's no longer with us. She's left a fantastic legacy of people that care. You know, that reaches beyond her neighbours, beyond her friends. And I think if any of us can leave a legacy and a memory and an impact, a positive impact on others, then it adds true value to our life. So that's it for today. As I said, I've just arrived at the gym. I'm going to do a 40 minute ro roller session. Yeah, 40 minute uh, roller session. Loosen up some of those joints. Have a sauna and, uh, and then head home. So that's it. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for listening to my message. And remember... Take action, love life, and if something isn't going to plan, then make the choice to do something about it. Peace out.